Australia is busy minting her coinage to prepare for the changeover to the decimal system next year. They've had the excellent idea of giving a uniquely Australian theme to the designs of the new coins, commissioning the artist Stuart Devlin for the work. His plan has been to base them on birds and animals native to Australia. Moulds are made from the drawings. The feather-tailed glider, smallest of the opossum family, was chosen by Devlin as the model for the design on the smallest coin, the one-cent piece. The frilled lizard, ferocious looking but harmless, is the motif of the two-cent piece. The spiny anteater is an egg-laying mammal very common in Australia. The lyrebird, with its splendid tail, is represented on the ten-cent piece. The platypus lives in rivers and burrows into the banks. He supplies the design on the twenty-cent coin. Kangaroos and emus are the best known of the wildlife of Australia, and the artist has chosen them for the design of the 50 cent piece, the largest of the new coins. A new design of the Queen's head will appear on all the pieces. On and off for a long time, there's been talk of Britain adopting the decimal system, which of course has its points. Under any money system, the personal problem is the same, how to get enough. <laughs>